Okay, so I looked into the positive healing effects of mind-body therapy and mindfulness inter mindfulness-based intervention on mental disorders. So my original question, I really didn't, I wasn't thinking about cancer when I searched this, and I just put in like mind-body therapy and then like anxiety and depression, and then I end up coming across this really cool article. So it deals with people who are experiencing distress from their cancer experience and um, have disorders such as anxiety and depression, but they also have like, insomnia and a different range of just big like stress disorders. And so you've already heard about Linda. Um, <laughs> yeah, so the article is Distress Management Through Mind, Body Therapies, and Oncology for the Sake of Time. That's good for that. And so uh, we learned that the inherent stress of cancer causes distress in over 45% of patients and survivors in the U.S. and even higher internationally. So researchers wanted to look into if mind-body therapy and mindfulness-based in intervention, and this can include meditation, yoga, hypnosis, tai chi, imagery and relaxation, um, if they can help cancer patients and survivors with the symptom that's caused by their cancer experience and the associated stress. And this was like especially important because it's a very um, low cost and accessible treatment and has less side effects than if you were to just like be medicated. So it would definitely have a lot of upsides if it proved to be effective. And so this article did not like itself conduct a study, but kind of analyzed the results of other studies. So the sample size and demographic and method varied for each of the experiments, but what was consistent in two of them, but not the one Sophia talked about, was that the form of mind-body therapy and mindfulness inter mindfulness-based intervention that they would most likely benefit from was determined through a screening for the stress for their symptoms and suffering. So it was all like an individualized approach. And so for the first study, there were 270 distressed breast cancer patients and they were put into three groups. So they had a mindfulness-based in intervention group, a supportive expressive therapy group, which I looked up and I guess it's like a psychotherapy that's often used for drug addicts, but that was a group. And then a control group and the results for that there was a greater improvement in stress symptoms quality of life and social support in the mindfulness based intervention group than in the other two groups um, the second study they looked at was 322 cancer patients and survivors and this one was just in two groups they were all women and it was 155 in various mind body therapies that were determined through the screening i was talking about so it's all like individualized and then 167 who were just receiving their usual care. And again, the results showed a decrease in anxiety, fear, and fatigue in the mindfulness group. And then the study that Sophia was talking about was this on eight-week online mindfulness therapy program that was 62 cancer patients and survivors and 80% finished, so take that down a little bit. But um, all finishers experienced statistically significant increases in mood and stress management as controlled to their uh, as compared to their original scores. So overall, in all of the studies that um, this article looked at, mind body therapy and mindfulness based in intervention did effectively improve symptoms and the mental disorders that were caused by the distress of cancer. And some quotes that I pulled out of it. Um, to help show like the variety of methods that can really help our yoga can improve overall quality of life emotional and social functioning anxiety depression and distress hypnosis is a viable means of reducing pain and anxiety without side effects which was like a big theme throughout this um, and imagery was more helpful than no treatment for treating depression anxiety discomfort and quality of life